Hello everyone. In this video, we will take a look at how we can add infinite scroll to our Ionic 4 and Angular News application that we created in the last video. If you remember, in the last video, we used newsapi.org to fetch the news articles and we were using this endpoint to fetch top business headlines in the US right now. And if you remember, we were getting all the records, so in that case, 20 records at the same time. So what if we want to fetch only the five records and when we scroll to the end of the page, which is in finite scroll, and then we want to fetch another 10 records. And uh, similarly, when we reach the end of the page again, then we want to fetch another 10 records, another five records and so on. So we can do it with the help of Ionic Infinite Scroll. So if I head over to Ionic Framework Docs and we can go to the components and here we can scroll to uh, Ionic Infinite Scroll and we can use this markup and it will work with ng4 that we have used in the last video. If we see on the right hand side here when we reach the end of the page it will fetch the next records so it is not loading all the records at the same time so we are loading the records dynamically so all right let's go back to the editor and here we can see we are using this ionic card and here we are using uh, ng4 loop and here in the news page.ts we are getting the data with the help of this service so for now, I don't want the image to load so I can maybe comment it out. And here what I want is we can pass other parameters. So like if I if I show you this API once for, once for a second in the documentation, we can see and in the top headlines and if I scroll down, you can see we have this request parameters. So these we can pass and the one we are concerned about are page size and page so what the page size will do it will only return the number of items that we specify in the per page size parameter so here you can see default is 20 so we are getting the 20 items back here you can see this 20 and then we will use this page to maybe go to first page when there are five items and when we say page two, then it will fetch another five items. So let's see how we can do that. So now if I go back here and to pass parameter, we can add uh, actually page size equal to five. And the next parameter I want is page equal to one. So if I save it and go back to the editor. And now I have commented the image. So you're not seeing the image. And here you can see we are getting the five items. So if I go back here, I actually want to add page as a property. So I can say page equal to one. And then what we can use, we can use this template letters. And instead of one, we can add this dot page. So now this will use this page property that we have defined here. And the next thing we, we can do is we can add Ionic infinite scroll code here. So here in the Ionic content, we can add Ion infinite scroll. And then here inside of it, we can define infinite scroll content. And in the content, we have various properties. So we can use loading spinner and we can use bubble for now. And then we can also add loading text. So load news maybe. We can add anything here. Does it matter? And here in the iron infinite scroll directive, we can pass a event in iron infinite. And here we have to pass the function load more news. So this can be any function. So that we have to define in the component ts so now we can copy this and we can add a function here and here in the event 
we can output this event variable and now if we go back to our browser and we scroll down you can see load news here so this will remain here because we haven't completed the scroll event so, but you can see this event object that we have added the console.log in the function so we can use this to uh, complete the function so uh, first we have to see how we can load the other five items from the news api so what we can do is we can use this new service again and then we can paste it here and what else we can do is so if you see we are using this this dot page property so the, if this dot page property if we can increase it by one that means we are loading the next five records so what we can do is we can use this dot page then plus plus so that will increase the page property by one so that means we are fetching the other uh, five records so now here instead of this stored data what we want is we want to use for off loop so we can do const article of data dot so this is the data this one and we want to access the articles array here and we want to push it to the data so this data is this data property that we have defined on line 11 so what we can do is we can access the articles property and then push the article from the data that we are getting from the another page so now actually we can add it like this so this is also fine so now if i save it and i go back to the browser so we are first seeing the first five records and now when i scroll then you can see the another five records and if i scroll again you can see all right actually there is one one more problem we have to complete the uh, infinite scroll function so we can go back to our editor and here in the subscribe method we have to pass a dot target dot complete so now if i save it and actually i also want to output the complete object so that will be console dot log this dot data so that will be the data in which we are pushing so if i go back to the editor and here we are fetching the first five records and then we can see the another five records and if we scroll again you can also check in the console the first uh, we are fetching five and after the next infinite scroll we are fetching the next five so this that will be 10 records and then again five so that will be 15 so sim uh, so if we scroll uh, maybe to again then it will be 20 so this is how you can add infinite scroll to your ionic 4 and angular application